Hey, Lou. Good to see you, man. Um, uh, obviously, Nick was playing against his former team today. Um, Brad, you talked about wanting to get a win for him, and Ty, Ty said he was happy for him to get a win. Um, wonder what your thoughts are on that for that. <laughs> we ain't talking about it. So. I don't want to be fake act like we talked about it. But, you know, anytime you play against your former team, there's this added juice to, to, to try to go out and win that game. I was glad that we did it in the fashion that we did. And so that was a good job. Well, and also, I guess, how does Nick fit in that second unit with you? What do you like about that fit? Um, just gives us balance. You know, being a pro um, on both ends of the floor, you know, you know, you got a, a seasoned veteran out there with you that knows his positions, knows how to play the game of basketball at a high level. So he just gives me he gives me great confidence being out on the floor with him, knowing he's going to do his job. Thanks. We'll go next to Law. Hey, Lou, uh, good to see you, man. Uh, in the first half, you did what you've been doing all your career, drawing the shooting fouls kind of on the three-pointer. Hey, man, this is serious out here, you know. So I, I've never seen that match, though. Hey, man, my conditioning is on point, though. You should. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Hey, protect your health, brother. Protect hey. your mentals and your, and, uh, and your cheese. I'm sorry. That was distracting. Your chicken. Your, your yes, chicken. Yeah, so, yeah, protect your mentals and your chicken. Go ahead, Dom. Exactly. Exactly. So um on that on that note, you know, you doing a, you did a great job of drawing this three-point shooting foul, something that you do all the time. Uh some that young guys who are guarding you for the first time, they fall victim to. Uh how do you keep getting guys with a move that you've been doing for 16 years now? It's a it's a conscious thought knowing that I'm playing against young guys that hadn't played against me before or 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 still hadn't played haven't had enough experience with me you know I'm sure it's in a scout report um, but they're probably gonna go for it in live action you know when you don't have a coach yelling at you so um, it's a conscious conscious idea for me a conscious decision for the, me to go out there if I don't have anything clear to just get a guy with a with a pump fake especially young guys. Thanks, Luke. Next we'll go to Shane Young. Hey, Lou, are you noticing anything in particular from T-Man's game in terms of how he's attacking when he's on the floor with you all? I mean, he's a, he's a high-level player when he's attacking the rim, when he's playing with high energy and, and putting putting pressure on the defense. Um, and and on, a, on the opposite end of the floor, putting pressure on offensive guys that can score for other teams, man. And I, um, my, my thing to T-Man, I always tell him to stay greedy, stay hungry. Um, never forget why he's even in the rotation. And that, and that comes from playing hard and, and applying pressure at all times on the floor. And tonight we was able to do that and able to close that ball game out for us tonight. Um, we'll go next to Farbad. Hey, Lou, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, today's Jamal Crawford's birthday, and you two are kind of the, the, the two of the top three, top all time, six men of the year. Is there something that he has taught you, you know, when you were coming in the league or when you guys are at the same time about, you know, playing in the role that both of you are in? Um, you know, the one thing that he did teach me was just how to be a pro, um, accept your position and try to start in that role. I think that's where I get that idea from. Um, basketball wise, we have two completely different games. So I wish I could do some of the things that he, he's been capable to do on the floor with the flash he played. That's just not my style. And so um, I've always watched him. I've always admired the player that he is, the person that he is off the floor. Um, a lot of you guys um, have had an opportunity to cover him over the years. And, you know, he's a he's a class act. He's a he's a high level guy, man. And um, I'm happy to call him a friend. I spoke to him today. So um, happy birthday to him. Thanks. We have one last question coming from Kahari. <laughs> It was going on, Lou. Uh, a lot of people give you your just due in this league, you know, from young to veterans. Uh, Devontae Graham has had mentioned you today that he, you you wanted the hardest players to guard in this league. You know, what does that mean to you to give respect, you know, from, from players all around the league? It means a lot, you know, to in the game of basketball or any professional sport. I think the the respect that's that's garnered the most is from your peers, from the people that you compete with and against. And, you know, those compliments mean more to me than any anybody else when it's players that I've played against over the years. And um, especially these younger guys who, you know, walking up saying I'm their favorite player or they've put something in their game that they've gotten from me or I'm a tough cover, you know, and it, it means a lot. Um, 
I'm proud. I'm honored. You know, and um, you know, that's just that's just part of my makeup. I'm happy that I stuck around long enough um, to get those compliments.